Soon, a documentary, Bosniaks in the world of Andrich. For the first time in one place, the racist and genocidal messages of Bosnian Nobel Prize winner Ivo Andrich. How the genocidal tendencies of Serb hegemonists grew out of the literature of Negos and Andrich. Bosniaks are for Andrich an Asiatic warrior people whose religion originates in different climatic and social conditions and which bore consequences by its transfer onto a Christian Slavic land. Bosniaks are for Andrich foreign by religion, spirit and race. For Andrich, Islam is to blame for Bosnia's inability to take part in the cultural development of Christian Europe. Bosniaks who rejected converting back to the religion of their grandfathers, Andrich calls unreasonable cattle, who refuse to live like humans. The racist messages of Andrich were repeated in the 1980s by the greatest Serb chauvinists and future war criminals, with the intention to mobilize Serbs to revenge on the Turks. <laughs> Andrich writes about the crimes of the Turks against Serbs, about molestation and impalement, as inspiring a vindictive and genocidal spirit within the Serb people. The impalement of Radisav was observed by the citizens, mostly Turks, meaning Bosniaks, who became collective culprits for the literary sufferance of Serbs. That is why thousands of Serbs will actively participate in genocide upon Bosniaks, continuously over time. The Serb hegemonists' conviction that mass crimes against Bosniaks are justified has its foundation in Andrzej's literary works. Andrzej calls Bosniaks Turk converts, even though they have Slavic origins and do not speak the Turkish language. He undermines the identity of Slavic Muslims, Bosniaks, saying they are recent Turks and there are almost none who do not remember a father or grandfather as a Christian or recent convert. This thesis is used by all Serb chauvinists. In the work of Andrzej, there is not a single positive Bosniak character. All of them are perverts, ugly, stupid. Beginning with the Bosniak national hero, Alija Derzelas, through Shorgan to Mula Sajir. Has Andrzej been educating Serb and Croat hegemonist chauvinism against Bosniaks? Why was Ivo Andrzej fascinated by Njegos' genocidal vows? Montenegrin king and poet Njegos considers Bosniaks to be Turks, presenting them as wild Asiatic tribes and calling for revenge upon them, without hesitation and reconciliation. Why are Andrzej's racist and genocidal messages considered as work of high aesthetic value, instead of an inspiration for mass murders? Why do Serb hegemonists see in Njegos and Andrzej a direction instead of a moral aberration? Because Serb hegemonists consider the extermination of Turk converts the ultimate in patriotism. For them, the murder and expulsion of Bosniaks is a sign of love for their country, people and religion. And the literary works of Andrzej reflect such fascist perversity. The documentary Bosniaks in the World of Andrzej confronts us with the undeniable fact that Ivo Andrzej is one of the inspirers of genocide upon Bosniaks. It is meant as well to ask Andrzej's readers to fully understand his message and open their minds to a very different reality. Themes from the study of Professor Dr. Musin Rizvich, Bosnian Muslims in the world of Andrzej, soon.